That is how you create one column of protection. You say, in front of me, one meter in front of me, I am going to create a connection between heaven and earth. Two lines of energy, one going up, one going down, creating the two spirals, creating a column which is impenetrable. Nothing can come through it. And then you say, I will make one behind me, and I will make one to my right, and I will make one to my left, and I will join them up in the center of the universe, and I will join them up in the center of the earth, and I'll have one central column that comes up through me, joining up in the center of the universe, down in the center of the earth, and this creates a structure which can channel more spiritual energy. So as well as providing uh, protection around you, as well as providing a, a diving suit, you know what is a diving suit, Hiromi? A diving suit is what you wear with this big copper helmet on the top, yeah, and you go blah, 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 down to the center of the earth in the ocean. And what do you have coming out of the top of the suit? You have an airline. You have an airline. And you have this pure positive oxygen spiritual energy coming down. And it's flowing around all of your body. And it's constrained by the suit. And around you, you've got all this dirty water. But around you, you've got this oxygen spiritual energy. And it goes down. And there you are, touching the center of the earth. This is protection. It is the way to maintain a positive spiritual energy around you whilst everything else is dirty. The whole world is dirty and filled with horrible, dirty energy. And what you are doing is you are protecting all of these horrible, dirty people from your pure, positive spiritual energy. Because if your positive spiritual energy oxygen hits them, they will ignite and burn up, poor things. All of their karma will come into play in that moment. And it will be like they are struck by lightning. Struck by lightning. And you don't want to do that to anybody else except your students, do you? <laughs> struck by lightning, pop. Struck by lightning, pop. Struck by lightning, pop. That's what Bilbo Baggins said in The Lord of the Rings. Struck by lightning, struck by lightning. You've been hit by the lightning of Zeus. But because you are at a higher energy level, you can channel that lightning strike. Because you have less negative karmic mass resistance to that flow of energy. Whereas in normal people who are very dirty, <laughs> they have more resistance. So that when they get this super positive, powerful spiritual energy hitting them, they cannot take it. It's too much for them. It's very much like the story of Leila. I was telling Hiromi, her spiritual name is Leila. And I said, I know the story of Leila. It's very much like the song by Eric Clapton. Leila. And I said, one day, there were these tribes in Arabia. And Layla, a very beautiful young lady, so beautiful and so spiritual. She was a saint. And in the other tribe, there was this young man called Michaelides. And he, want, he heard about Layla and he wanted to marry her. He thought, I am a beautiful boy and I want to join in marriage with this lady. He was very proper about it. He didn't steal into the tribe and whisk her away and all the rest of it. He thought, I will do this proper, the way it is meant to be done. <laughs> and he went to the leader of the tribe, which was the leader of Layla's tribe, and he said to the leader, I have heard a lot about Layla, and I am a rich young man. I am the prince of my tribe, and I would like to join our two tribes together by this marriage. I would like to marry Layla. I've got a thousand camel. I'm willing to give for this beautiful lady. The leader of the tribe said, Well, this is all very good, he said. This is a very beautiful idea to join our two tribes together like this. He said, But somehow, I don't think that you are ready for this. What do you mean, he said? I am the prince of my tribe. I have 1,000 camels. 
What can possibly be wrong with that? <laughs> so he said, well, come. He said, we'll go to see Layla. So they went through the encampment and they came to the tent of Layla. He said, just open the tent and have a look. So Michael Eades went to the tent and he opened it up just a gap and he took one look at the bottom level of the skirt of Layla and he fell over in a faint. Poff! On the ground, out like a light. And the meaning of this story is that in the presence of pure positive spiritual energy, those who are not prepared will not be able to gaze upon the light of the beauty of Layla. You have to prepare yourself. It is not enough to have a thousand camel. It is not enough to have a thousand camel. Jesus Christ was talking to a rich young man. He said, you have as much chance of going to heaven as a rich man to pass through the eye of a needle. Because you have too much negative karmic mass. You have too much negativity in your soul and in your being. The only way you can come into the presence of Layla is by taking a course of energy enhancement. <laughs> Yoga, meditation, pranayama, any of the thousand techniques that aspirants take on the path towards God. He fell over in a faint. He just could not take the energy. And so, this is why I am talking to you about the necessity for protection. Spiritual, psychic protection. Not for your protection, but to protect everybody from your Layla spiritual energy. Because when you leave here, I hope you will be saints. I hope you will be radiating the light of the soul. And you have to be careful. You know, when you go back, after you've been to the ashram, and you have partaken of a little bit of the energy of Shivananda, then everybody that you come into contact with will be irradiated by that light. And if they have a little bit of negativity within them, they will feel uneasy. It will make them angry. They won't fall over in a saint, in a faint. They will perhaps become angry in your presence. Or other people with that sort of type of psychic body might become depressed or sad in your presence. They will become emotional in the presence of the light. As we know ourselves, when we start to meditate, sometimes we go to sleep. We nod off. <coughs> Because we can't take the light. Some people will become afraid in your presence. And so, in order not to bother other people, we have to protect them from your radiance. And the means of doing that is the columns of protection. Please practice them every day so you don't bother people when you go back. Put the diving suit around you. Surround yourself with the pure radiance of the spiritual oxygen. Remain in that atmosphere. But please, don't try to breathe water anymore. You are not a fish. You have evolved. You have come out of the ocean and you have moved onto the land of the enlightened. You're not touching the earth. You have moved into the land above the physical land. You have moved into the land of enlightenment. Higher. More energy. More effect. And please, always share this energy with people of like mind. Do not waste it on those who do not want to accept it. <laughs>